Hey there, YouTube. It's uh, me, TJ Does Life. Haven't done a uh, straight up and down TJ Does Life video in a while. Channel hasn't really been used for its purpose, but hey, what else is new? It's uh, kind of the, not my neglected channel that I don't have time for, so whatever. What is new in TJ's life anyway? Well, I'm on uh, I'm on Weight Watchers again. Yep, that's the sound of my phone. I don't know if you heard it because this mic is pretty directional, but uh, that was the sound of my phone telling me that someone is. Uh, Made a move in Words with Friends, which I haven't played for, um, I don't know, a couple of weeks now. So I don't even know how there are still games that I should have just automatically forfeited by now. But whatever. I guess I didn't. Um, what else is going on? I'm back on Weight Watchers um, on a diet. Uh, Weight Watchers is the only diet that ever worked for me. Some people say, you know, um, they come up to me and they say, oh, you don't need to go on a diet. You just need to exercise. Like, phew. I don't know. I'm very averse to, to physical activity, personally. I'm not too good with that. I'm not too good at, you know, do jumping jacks or something, you know. doesn't work out too well for, for old TJ. But I actually am doing um, uh, a very, very light fitness <laughs> exercises. And it's let me know just how bad things have gotten, too, because I, I'm on the Weight Watchers website. I'm like, all right, I'm going to look at the f what fitness activities are recommended for beginners. You know, and it says on the site, it's like, you know, if you're reacclimating yourself to exercise, these are some good exercises. I'm like, well, what if you're what if you're just acclimating? Fuck that re shit. What if I'm just acclimating to exercise in the first place? So um, I look up the exercises and they got. Um, squats, but they're not real squats. They're like these bullshit, easy, fat people squats. And I'm doing the squats, and I'm like, piece of fucking cake. These workouts are nothing. I don't know what all these people who work out are bitching about. This ain't shit. I get to the next exercise. Um, it's it's a I don't know what they're called, but it's like you 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 get on your hands and knees and you lift one arm and you lift the opposite leg basically, and then you you switch. You know, so if you raise your right arm, you raise your left leg. And if you raise your left arm, you raise your right leg. And that was a little bit harder. I'm like, okay, well, it's hard, but I I still got this shit. I still got this shit locked down, you know. And then there was this um, this one thing they wanted me to do where you get on your side and you have your arm like this and you have to lift your body. You have to lift your body with just this. Sorry if you couldn't hear that. You have to lift your body with just this part here. And then you 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 know you you balance your body on your forearm and your uh and your feet. And you lift yourself up and you hold it for 30 seconds. Well, I could only hold it for like 3 seconds. I'm like, "God damn." Ah! <laughs> God. Why? Okay, so that was a, a fucking um I don't know what the word for it is. Um um, horribly embarrassing failure. I think that's the word I'm looking for. I know there's multiple words. Please don't point that out. Um, so yeah, then I had to do, uh, <laughs> push-ups. I can't, I've never done a push-up in my fucking life. I've tried to do push-ups, but I mean, like, I can't lift this fucking blob of shit. So I'm, I'm like, I even tried to do a girly push. I'm like, I'll just do the girly push-up, like, from the knee. Nope. It ain't fucking happening. I'm like, ah, ha, ha, ha. ah, it ain't fucking working. So then I did some stretches. The stretches I found considerably easier than the uh, workout. And I always thought you're supposed to do stretches before you worked out. But um, at least in this particular regimen, you're supposed to do them afterwards. I don't know why. Um, so, yeah, that's that's my my twice weekly workout routine that I have to do. And then on days that I don't do that, I have to do five to ten minutes of cardio. And uh, then I have to watch what I eat every day. I have uh, 71 Weight Watchers points a day. And um, 70 is also the the amount of points contained within, like, a single bite of any food that I actually like. So, um, <laughs> so that's Weight Watchers. That's my diet plan and i think I, I think i'm actually going to succeed this time because this is the first time i haven't gone into it with a positive attitude you know i know that doesn't sound that sounds weird like oh well aren't you supposed to approach things like this with a positive attitude 
you know, I always do, but you always burn out when you get, when you approach shit with a positive attitude. You go and you're like, oh, I'm going to fucking do this. I'm going to fucking get skinny. I'm going to get skinny and then I'm going to build some muscle. I'm going to look like a fucking cut motherfucker. you damn right. I'm going to look like a badass. I'm going to be drowning in pussy, you know. And, um, <laughs> and then, you know, a, a week later you're like, fuck, it's too hard. I'll just eat ice cream, you know. <laughs> it's like, okay, well, you know, I can fucking wait for this pipe dream perfect body or I can eat some ice cream now but this time I'm approaching it negative and it's a lot easier when you just fucking have wake up every day like well I don't fucking want to do this shit but I gotta fuck it you know when you think of it as a horrible grating and just just undesirable daily punishment and just accept the fact that your life is now a gigantic ball of festering shit and there's no fucking changing it that's the way you get shit done, at least for me. I don't know if that uh, applies to most people. But I, that's why I think I'm going to succeed this time, because I'm approaching it with a very negative fucking attitude of just like, fuck, fuck. That's my philosophy on life, by the way. You know, all my favorite philosophers like uh, Nietzsche and George Carlin, I consider George Carlin a philosopher. Um, and that's pretty much all I know. <laughs> Nietzsche and George Carlin, my brilliant my uh my my the depth and breadth of my great philosophical uh reading um that's the problem with autodidacts we you never like we're wildly uneven education that we give ourselves um and, and uh you know so if i wrote a philosophy book you know nietzsche had all these like cool little aphorisms and shit mine would just be fuck fuck that's all you need. That's my entire philosophy. It's all encapsulated in just fuck. And that's not... My, my philosophy is not fuck. It's not even fuck. It's fuck. That's important. The way it's said is important. You know, and I think how you say that is you, you write F-F-U-U-U-U-C-K. No exclamation point. Just uh, maybe like a an ellipsis after that, you know, dot dot dot. Um, and 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 it's all it has to be italic and um, font. I would say Garamond because I always liked that font. Uh, and that's how you properly write that for those of you who uh, who want to who want to look at that philosophy and study it for uh, you know upcoming ages. And uh, someone wrote to me on Twitter the other day. They said. Um, that you know, I need you, you know. I made a video entitled uh, uh, "Common Sense um, um, uh, Homophobes or Idiots." That's what it was called. Common Sense Homophobes or Idiots. And someone wrote to me, and they're like, "You don't need to look up what common sense means because you used it wrong in your video." I'm like, "Oh yeah? Well, fuck you." <laughs> And then the same person's like, oh, and another mistake you made is um, criteria is plural. It's not the singular. I guess the singular is probably criterion. I didn't bother to look. Um, I don't know where where I made that mistake, but they said I've made it quite often. So uh, to that, similarly, fuck you. (laughs) You know, I mean, like, listen to what I'm saying, okay? Don't get bogged down in pedantic bullshit. I'm not a fucking academic. You're not going to fucking gotcha, you know. Um, No, no. I'm like Sarah Palin. I'm not going to be tripped up by no gotcha journalists, yo. So, yeah, back on Weight Watchers. I'm drinking this fucking disgusting Diet Dr. Pepper because it's not as disgusting as Diet Coke or Coke Zero. And uh, a lot of people are like, oh, you're an idiot because that has, um, what is it, aspartame. What What does this use as an artificial sweetener? Aspartame, yeah, and they're like, oh, don't eat aspartame, you'll die, you'll die! It's like, I'm gonna die anyway, you fucking asshole. You know how much dangerous shit I do? I don't wash my hands worth of shit. Up until this last couple of days, I ate horribly. I mean, you know, the only the only bad habit I lack is smoking, so of course I'm gonna, what the fuck, I could... You know, I, I'm like, you know, I could just inject aspartame into my fucking veins like heroin. It wouldn't matter. So yeah, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get skinny. I'm gonna get like a, I'm gonna become a skinny little Rayleigh fuck, 
And, uh, you know, I'm probably not, I was going to build muscle, but then I decided, you know, that's too much work. So that won't happen, but I'll become a little scrawny douche uh, instead of a big fat douche. So people can, people, people will speculate, uh, that I, I, uh, started doing meth or something, which will be fun. I think maybe I'll actually start doing meth, you know, just to confirm their suspicions, but I can't do it until they start saying I'm doing it. Cause then it'll be good. Um, I'm going to pick my nose because I'm shameless. Actually, I'm not picking it. I'm just itching it. It's itchy. A lot of things get itchy around here. Um, So that's that's, uh, that's a TJ's Life video, I guess. Bye.